Hey guys, we're back working on our x axis. We've drawn our table, we've drawn our floated end mount, we've drawn our fixed end bearing mount, and we've in our last video we drew our bearing cover. So now we need to just make a spacer for our stepper motor. This will allow room for our coupling and mount our stepper motor. So this is just going to be made out of a 4 inch by 4 inch square tubing, quarter inch wall. So let's get that drawn. So we're going to go to the front here. And then uh, we can turn this bodies off that we're not going to use here. Uh, really, we just need this sketch right here. I think it is okay. So we're going to create a new sketch, and we can put it on this plane right here. Selecting this area right there. And we're going to do a rectangle. Uh, we'll do a center rectangle. Click on the center. And we want to go out to here, which should be 88.9 by 88.9. Okay. And then do another. And that's going to be. 101.6 by 101.6 we'll select that uh, we can turn this sketch off uh, pretty straightforward and simple uh, it's not too difficult for that we can stop sketch and come around like this we're going to modify Press pull. We're going to select this outside area. And it needs to be a hundred millimeters. Select OK. We need to move it. Let me see how far we need to move it. It's in the wrong spot. Uh, it's at this point right here now we need to move it back to this point so let me measure this this is uh, 31.75 so we need to right click and drag a box around it and highlight it and then we'll select move we'll click on this arrow and then if you just drag it, it'll let you know which axis you're moving right here. And we want to move it 31.75. Okay. Select OK. And that should put it in the right position. Okay, that looks good. Satisfied with that. You can kind of see how that's coming together. I want to create another sketch. See if we can select this space here by highlighting it. There we go. Okay, so now we need to draw an access hole so that we can get to uh, the coupling. So what I want to do is go up to sketch, line, and I need a line that is 19 millimeters, 19.05, which is three quarters of an inch. And then I need to go down 35.7. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Now I want to do a rectangle, a two point rectangle, and I'll select this point. 
and I'll drag it over. We need to leave room. I want to try to make it a little symmetrical. Then we're going to go say 64. Okay. That looks about right. Okay, so we have this point right here. And that's all we can do at this moment. So we'll stop our sketch. Okay. And then we'll modify, press pull, and we want to cut that through. Click OK. And now we have our access hole. So that we can get to our coupling. Now I want to chamfer these corners, round these corners off. So go modify, fillet, and then I'll select these corners here. One. Two. Three, four, okay, and let's try ten. See what that looks like. It looks pretty good. We'll go with that. Ten millimeters. Okay. Let's turn our sketch back on. Remember this spot right here, we need to put a hole. So we'll create a hole right here. I don't think it went into the right spot. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so this hole needs to be, we're going to be using a countersunk screw. So we'll select countersink and we have a four millimeter hole. Actually, let's make it a little bit bigger 4.2. And then our countersink diameter, let's make it nine. See how that looks. I think that'll be okay. You can actually measure your screw and see. I don't have one to measure, but I think nine's going to be good enough. Okay, we can turn that sketch off for now to modify it and put a hole over here, but we don't know exactly where that hole is going to be yet. Let's check and see if that hole lines up. And it does. So that's good. Okay, we turn that body off. Okay. Do we not thread those holes? I thought we had them threaded. Alright. Okay, so we now have this hole and our spacer. You can see we're going to thread it. Now we need to duplicate that hole on each side. Just going to turn this. Alright, let's see if we can try and do this. This is another way that you can do this. Uh, hole. 
be on this face. Okay, get it lined up in the center of the hole underneath. 6.35 millimeters deep. Click OK. And then we have that hole. Rotate around to the other side here. We'll do the same thing. We'll put a hole right there. Create a hole. Select this face here. We'll just keep scrolling down and we can get it centered on top of this other hole. Six point three five millimeters deep. And then just grab it with your mouse and move it and try to get it as centered as possible. That looks good. Click OK. And then we'll rotate the box around to the bottom. Do it once again. A hole. Select this face. We'll scroll over. Drag this over uh, proximity there. There we go. You can see as I move it over the hole it starts to show through my little red window pink window here and I can scroll in okay 6.35 millimeters deep get it centered okay so that takes care of our four holes Can see how that's going to mount. That takes care of all four. We're going to be using countersink socket screws, uh, Allen screws. All right. That takes care of our spacer, and we'll come back. And we're next. We're going to do our stepper motor mount. And when we do that, we'll add another hole on each side for the mount. Please feel free to ask questions or leave comments. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. And most importantly, be safe.